Genesis chapter 2 verse 1 reads, Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. So all the host of, their, of them, if you believe in the globe model, would include the universe. So it's done, right? But if you believe the earth is a globe spinning through space, it's not done. You have to believe that the universe is ever expanding. That's why it's spinning through space. That's why our galaxy is constantly, according to science, traveling through space. Because it's expanding into nothing. But God says, we're finished. Everything's finished. Everything's done. There's no more creating happening. There's no more expanse happening. It's done. The heavens and the earth are finished and it's an enclosed system. And it's all right here. One thing I really want your generation to embrace is that the earth is a closed system. We cannot leave the earth. There's no place to go. One thing I really want your generation to embrace is that the earth is a closed system. We cannot leave the earth. Orion is getting ready to launch. My name is Kelly Smith, and I work on navigation and guidance for Orion. Orion is NASA's next generation spacecraft. Built with versatility in mind, it can take astronauts deeper into space than we've ever gone before. It can take astronauts deeper into space than we've ever gone before. It can take astronauts deeper into space than we've ever gone before. For these missions, Orion has to be one tough spacecraft, withstanding high speeds, searing temperatures, and extreme radiation. Extreme radiation. Extreme radiation. We are headed 3,600 miles above Earth. 15 times higher from the planet than the International Space Station. As we get further away from Earth, we'll pass through the Van Allen belts, an area of dangerous radiation. Naturally, we have to pass through this danger zone twice, once up and once back. But Orion has protection. Shielding will be put to the test as the vehicle cuts through the waves of radiation. Sensors aboard will record radiation levels for scientists to study. We must solve these challenges before we send people through this region of space. We must solve these challenges before we send people through this region of space. We must solve these challenges before we send people through this region of space. Any ill effects from the Van Allen radiation belts? No, now I'm not sure we went far enough out to, to encounter the Van Allen radiation belt. Maybe we did. I don't know the distance to the Van Allen radiation belt. We are headed 3,600 miles above Earth, 15 times higher from the planet than the International Space Station. Any ill effects from the Van Allen radiation belts? No, now I'm not sure we went far enough out to, to encounter the Van Allen radiation belt. Maybe we did. I don't know the distance to the Van Allen radiation belt. And if we did, it wasn't a problem. We must solve these challenges before we send people through this region of space. If we were going to encounter it, then we would have had to build the spacecraft and the spacesuit to... Uh, to, to not give humans a problem. We must solve these challenges before we send people through this region of space. You, you don't just build something and hope it works. You study to see what uh, the threats are, the environment is, and then you say, how thick do I have to make the metal on the spacecraft so that going through this kind of radiation or these kind of meteoroids, it won't get hurt. And so and then we build it that way. The belts are 1,000 miles 
to 25,000 miles above the Earth. We, then we went right out through them. No effects on your cells. Mm -mm, didn't even know it. I don't think anybody, well, maybe somebody said you went through the radiation belt, but we didn't feel it inside. As we get further away from Earth, we'll pass through the Van Allen belts, an area of dangerous radiation. And we didn't get any, you know, added radiation. The belts are 1,000 miles to 25,000 miles above the Earth. We, then we went right out through them. We must solve these challenges before we send people through this region of space. We, then we went right out through them. No effects on your cells. Mm -mm, didn't even know it. Area of dangerous radiation. But I don't think anybody, well maybe somebody said you went through the radiation belt, but we didn't feel it inside. Shielding will be put to the test as the vehicle cuts through the waves of radiation. Well maybe somebody said you went through the radiation belt, but we didn't feel it inside. Shielding will be put to the test as the vehicle cuts through the waves of radiation. And we didn't get any, you know, added radiation. No effects on your cells. Mm -mm, didn't even know it. I don't think anybody, well, maybe somebody said you went through the radiation belt, but we didn't feel it inside. Area of dangerous radiation. And we didn't get any, you know, added radiation.